Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. Working hard? So, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. KJ Radio presents The Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kiricho Electronics. Kiricho Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. What the? What's happening to me? She's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Hold on to this. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again.
Have you come here before? A lot of Gekukan students come here after school. There's a karaoke box and a CD shop. Oh, and a really great cafe, too. There's also a nightclub, but that's kind of not for us yet. Welcome back. How is she? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. Yeah, I guess. But still. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman. Let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. <sighs> Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Talk about go upstairs and wake her up, then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going! Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in! I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now! Hurry! Downstairs! We'll leave through the back door. Wait! Take this, just in case. Okay, let's go. Follow me. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. What was that? It's getting closer. Keep moving. Hurry. The door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Huh? You gotta be kidding me! You climbed up the wall? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh, yeah. I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Here goes.
on earth was that? Huh. Is it over? Are you okay? Oh, come on, please! Can you hear me? Answer me! It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. You're awake. Um, uh, how do you feel? Thank goodness you finally came too. I was so worried about you. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. <laughs> 